Okay. Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us for our next um, season, okay, of How to Change Your Life in 30 Days. Okay, my name is Ravikal Hassan Akhum, and I am the, uh, the guide for that process on our Facebook group. It calls Abraham Hicks, How to Change Your Life in 30 Days. Two is the letter two. And 30 is 30, so that's how you're going to find us on Facebook. Okay, and um, a little about myself and a little about this process. Okay, I am an energy reader and a life coach, and I am usually working with people who have um, uh, got familiar with the work and the teaching of Abraham and uh, want to practice more at the law of attraction. Okay, in my background, I did architecture, interior design, and feng shui. I had my own studio for many years, and uh, definitely had a lot of studies in music, arts, and uh, and uh, entrepreneuring and other skills. So I definitely have my legs very uh, deep rooted in the ground, even though my head sometimes been somewhere above the clouds. Okay, but I have to have that if I want to communicate with Abraham. Okay. So, and that's another thing that I do. I do communicate with Abraham, and they're the one who actually guides me through the entire process. They are the one who actually pushed me into the Facebook poll and into the groups and uh, to tell you about my psychic skills. And now uh, they are asking me to do private sessions with them for people who cannot get into the hard seat. Okay, and for people who would like to communicate with them in uh, in private and actually learn uh, their next step. Uh, so what I'm what I'm saying in short is that I am guided by Abraham and I'm co-creating with them the entire process. And you may say that this is this is the way that this is my uniqueness. This is my uh, this is my niche, so to say, that whatever I do with their processes and with their work, I actually co-create with them, okay, even though I'm using uh, materials that have been done, okay, with them, with others, and like Esther, which we cannot do without it, okay, and I'm also using the, the book of uh, Ulrike Haupt, okay, that she wrote in 2002, and so actually we're talking about a process which is fairly uh, old, so to say, uh, fairly basic. And I would like to speak a little about this process and actually uh, explain the importance of it. Okay, why is it so important to go to this process? Why it's so essential and why it's so really actually uh, basic? And the reason is that in order to do uh, a a vibration shift, in order to do a paradigm shift, we have to go through a certain process, okay? We know that in order to create a new habit, we have to have 21 days of, of practicing the same habit into results. Here, Abraham are asking for 30 days, and believe it or not, it does work. In, in those 30 days, our mission is actually to create our own reality, okay? And in this process, what we do, in order to create our own reality, we actually trying to shut ourselves out from the outside reality. What we do, we are learning in 30 days to ignore the outside reality and thus to, to increase and to encourage our inner life and our inner perspective and, and, uh, and our inner um, reality. Okay? And the thing is that what I all the time suggest to people that I'm working with on, as, on, on private uh, sessions and coaching, I definitely recommend them that as long as the outside reality doesn't match with their desires, to ignore it. Don't pay any attention to it. It's, it's very challenging to begin with. I can tell you myself many times, sometimes we push ourselves into extreme situations and, 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 and when we get there we want to ignore them and actually it's our creation, we created it, okay? So the 30 day process is actually the bridge, okay, the bridge between outside reality and inside reality so the inside reality is going to become the outside reality, okay, we're shifting it, okay? The 30 day process is the process that actually uh, just um, flip over 
okay, our reality uh, situation. Instead of us responding to the outside reality, we are shifting in a way that actually the outside reality uh, is actually uh, projecting our inner reality, which is always true, but this time it's going to be the wanted, and we understand how we do that, okay? Now, the entire process is, is so simple. Okay, I am watching others on different fields like uh, nutrition and, and, and sports and physical activities. They have their own rituals as well. Okay, on top of everything, this, this, um, this ritual of, of the 30 day is so essential that it actually parts of all of those rituals as well. Okay, so before you eat, okay, before you go to the gym, and exercise, you practice this this uh, ritual. Okay, everything comes secondary. Everything is on top of this. Okay, this is the first mindset for everything that you do. Okay. Um, what else did I wanted to say? I forgot for a second because I was carried out by myself. Yeah. The process is very simple. It, it, it takes care of three aspects in our life, okay? Health, well, well-being, okay, and relationships, okay? So to say romance or love or, you know, the relationship that we have with others, okay? The, the, the heart, okay? Uh, and, and the process is going like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, ten times, okay? And that's how simple it all is. Okay, because we never uh, have the same experience twice, the those those um, those rituals are repeating our th themselves. Okay, as we are making small changes, and the only changes that we do is actually according to our experience. And I'm going to I'm going to give a little backup background about this uh, this process to people who uh, had uh, never uh, saw this before or never had any chance to um, um, to read about it or to come across it. Actually, in the morning, what we do it's just 15 minutes in the morning and then 15 minutes uh, uh, in, before we go to sleep. Okay, in the morning as we wake up, we would like to smile. Okay, for a six, 60 seconds, like six zero seconds for one minute. Okay, and take deep breaths. Okay, we can, there are breath techniques. Okay, you can do like 60 in a row, like, you know, like that for 60 seconds. It's, um, it, it's really useful. You can do that for 60 seconds. It's actually boosting the, uh, you know, the, the, uh, um, the oxygen in the blood. Very good, very giving you a very very strong startup, okay. And then <clears throat> five minutes you can just um, meditate, okay. Another five minutes you can do positive aspects, okay. And um, and that's actually about it, okay. There's no another thing that uh, in the morning you would like to do is you would like to read. Uh, the the quote of the day, how they say that, and now the quote of the day of Abraham became like a whole industry. You can find Facebook groups, you can find them, you know, Abrahamic publications that have the quotes of the days that you can actually get Abraham every day. You can register for that for the website abrahamhakes.com, okay, and and you can you can actually get quotes every day. Now on the 30 days the quotes that you would like to to go for are going to be the quotes according to the to the theme of the day. Let's say that if you are going on health, the first day is in health, okay, you would like to have quotes that are going to um, <coughs> that are going to support uh, the health subject in your life. If you're going to go for a relationship, you're going to go for quotes that are going to support the relationship aspect in your life. And if you're going to uh, to money, wealth, uh, um, um, you would like to have quotes that are going to uh, support that subject and issue. Okay, and that's that's actually all about it. It's just to 
to set up the vibration for the day, and everybody who ever uh, who ever experienced this is going to tell you that it's actually changing the day. That instead of you, if instead of the day running you, you are running the day. Instead of being run over by the day, actually you are holding the leash. You know, uh, you're the coach of, of of your own experience, and actually things are going to unfold. You know, as the synchronicities are going to be there for you. Um, <clears throat> In, in such a magical way, you, you're not just going to believe it. And I'm going to give you a, a funny, funny, funny example. Yesterday, I was talking with my best friend here on the phone, and I, I said, I said, I said that, um, I said that uh, uh, you can rely on, on your relationship with other people just that much, okay? Because people are just people. We all have our life, and and and, and you know, people just have you know as much as they can to assist you okay but the real assistance the real the real power okay come from from your alignment with with your with your with source within you okay that's where the the real power is that's where the real energy come from that's where the endless potentials are coming from this is where it is okay and as I was closing the phone, I went back into my to my seminar online that was the Hay House Summit of 2014. And as I got back into it, I heard Abraham say just exactly the same sentence. I was like, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I knew we were together in this. <laughs> I knew that. Okay, you don't. Okay, thank you for the validation. It was such a huge validation coming from Abraham because I was just saying that. And it's not that I heard Abraham saying this before in that kind of phrase, okay, that kind of a condensed phrase before. And it was like, and, and when I said that on the phone, I said to myself, where do I have the guts to say those things to people? <laughs> I felt as if I was some kind of a, of a you know, you know, religious teacher or something like that, you know, start to. And and then when I got into my, to, to the webinar online that I was listening, which is like nearly five hours, and it was on the, on the, on the two hours, two hours, something like that, um, I heard them just saying that. It was like, okay, so I'm just, I'm just giving you one little example of, of synchronicities. Okay, and uh, I'm telling you that those synchronicities c could be so magical and so so amazing. Okay, and um, that that's actually the things that you're supposed to expect as you run your day and you, as you set up the vibration. I so got used to this in my life that if I don't have those synchronicities in my life, okay, I think that something is wrong, and I'm completely right. No alignment. So of course there's something wrong. Okay, if I if I go into the parking, okay, and my slot is not open for me, completely open for me, even though the entire garage is completely packed up and full, I know that there's something wrong here because it's supposed to be waiting for me. And so it is. Okay, so sometimes I know, okay, I trust it, I ask for it, it's going to be available. And indeed, in 30 seconds, 30 seconds, somebody's going to come and pull the car out so I can get in. And that's not a joke. Okay, I do this all the time. Some people call it the parking ferry, which is completely new for me. But those ferries are all the time there, and I know those those synchronicities are going to be are become part of my routine, part of my life, and and I expect them. You know, I expect the weather to wait for me. I expect that the that the rain is not going to pour cats and dogs when I'm out, and it does. I expect to have a good internet connection when I need it, and it does. Okay, yesterday we had a tornado here, I got the alert, and I said to myself, why did I have to learn about this? Okay, this new phone all of a sudden gives me an alert of tornado. I said to myself, why did they have to have give me that kind of alert? I didn't ask for it. Okay, and then I had to go into a session, and I said to myself, oh, Vital, you're not going to talk about this tornado, because at the moment you're going to talk about this tornado, you're going to lose your line. And that's exactly what happened. At the moment I said, because it started thundering, at the moment I said we have a tornado, it didn't take five seconds and I lost my line. <laughs> and, well, 
And and believe it or not, in 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 after I I had to refresh the line about you know twice, okay, and and in 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 the second time I refreshed the line, okay, the tornado moved to a, to to another area. So it was here for about ten or fifteen minutes. I said, well, that's enough for me. <laughs> okay, so actually, if you set up the vibration, you can expect you can expect synchronicities in levels that actually are can be beyond your your imagination. And I can share with you uh, that because I have all those synchronicities, sometimes sometimes people address me as if I, I was some kind of a, of, of a wizard or some kind of a witch or some kind of a fairy, my own self, as if I can do everything. You know, I have I have people in my life that will never take no as an answer because they are completely convinced that I can do everything. They just ask. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so. And it all it all it's all due to those synchronicities, and it's all due to the um, <coughs> to the um, to the vibration setup. Because once you set up the vibration, things are just going to unfold ahead of you. There's no other way around it. Okay. If you're going to watch uh, the the videos about the law of the universe, I made them private. Okay. But if you if you know how the law of the universe works, okay, you understand that there's no way around it. Okay. Energy works like in a fountain. Okay, there is a there is a there is a point of uh, there is a source of of springing. Okay, and then the water goes back in in a circle and spring again. Okay, the same thing goes with our vibration and our energy and all energies on the planet. It goes, you know, on, uh, in in this universe. Okay, there is a point. There is a source of the spring. Okay, and the difference between us and just a fountain that this source of spring, okay, has to do. We can definitely um, set it up. We can set the vibration of it, okay. And the way to set the vibration is in our mind, okay. And the 30-day process is just educating us how to do exactly that. Exactly that, because. You see, the thing is that once you set up the vibration, okay, you actually um, uh, uh, activated, okay, and set up the vibration to that uh, to that uh, uh, source of spring, okay, that first moment of that energy shooting out, okay. We have that capacity. We have the capacity of of setting that vibration, okay, and we do it in our mind, okay. So once we did this, it's going to get into the circle. Okay, once it's getting into the circle, it has no way out of it because it's a trajectory. There is no way out of it. It's going to come back. It's going to come back. Why? Because that's how it works. Okay, it works like in a donut shape. Okay. So the vibration that we set up always, 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 always going to come back. Okay. Now it doesn't matter if we set a vibration which is positive, we set a vibration which is negative, it's always going to come back. The thing is that we are not aware of it, okay, we're, and since we are not aware of it, okay, we make mistakes, okay, and that's one of the things that we don't want to show up in our experience, okay. Now another thing is that contrast, the things that we are not really interested of, of having in our life, are all the time going to show in our experience because that's how we expand. Okay, so we're not supposed to to uh, to expect that our life is going to, uh, you know, to uh, to go as if we were just uh, living inside a marshmallow. It's just not going to work like that because if we wanted to live in a marshmallow, this is not the universe to live in a marshmallow. Not either white, pink, or chocolate. Not nothing. No color is going to change that. It doesn't matter, okay? So this is this is the experience, okay? The thing is that once we are setting the vibration and once we are aligned, okay, those contrasts, okay, that we experience are not going to be experienced as as horrors, as dramas, as uh, as as something which is unpleasant. They are going to be they are going to be experienced as 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 uh, as uh, uh, amusing challenges. They are going to to feel like a game to us. 
it's going to feel like like some kind of of, of an excitement. Okay, I have I have a contrast here that uh, that I know that I created. Why? For the purpose of my expansion. Why do we create contrast? We create contrast to expand. Okay, and you can see this happening to people over and over and over. Even people that are on the growth circle. Even people that were able to to jump off, okay, of, of certain challenges, from time to time are going to go back into this, those challenges just to see, okay, that they actually can overcome it in, in nearly zero uh, 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 effort that they have had before. Okay, it's like yesterday I had this conversation with, uh, with one of my clients and she said to me, it's, it's 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 amazing for me to see how quickly I can shift from from a bad mood to a good mood. How quickly I can do this, and I said, "Isn't that isn't that amazing that that once you didn't even think you could, this is something which is actually possible?" She said, "Yeah." You know, for a lot of people, it's not even you know the idea that you can move from from being so upset from being in tantrum. Okay. Really tantrum, really like ugh, okay, into into a smile. It's it's something that that only a bipolar can do, like me. Now I'm bipolar now, okay. So only a bipolar can do this, and actually that's that's not true. The thing is that if you if you went through this process, okay, and you have you 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 were able to do the vibration setup, okay, and you were able to practice and see how synchronicities actually works in your life, you can shift, okay. Just like that, and I can tell you that, you know, um, it happens to me that, that many times before our sessions here, there's something that triggers me in a way that I can really jump into the roof, okay, out of like, like, what, you know, and today I had another what like that, and, and believe it or not, I was like, I was like, really, I was willing to... I was willing to, to shut somebody in the head, like, like just, you know, and I said to myself, okay, I'm going to take care of it, I, I was making a phone call, I was, you know, I was like, and, and then, you know, and then there was some kind of explanation coming to this, and I said to myself, okay, are you going to destroy your evening because of that? I said to myself, no, and you know what, I just remember it now, I forgot about it. Can you believe it? I forgot about something that I was willing to blow someone's head off. I just forgot about it. Until now. Just remember. So the thing is that as you're practicing this, okay, your, uh, your um, how to say, the flexibility, okay, your vibration flexibility is going to be so good, it's going to be so, so strong, okay, and so wide, Okay, that you can actually make those those changes. Okay, very 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 quickly. It's going to be like a rubber. Oh yeah, here I have a rubber. It's going to be like that. That's it. That's how quickly it is. It can take a matter of of, of minutes. Okay, over a year ago, it took me. I don't, I remember that. It took me about 45 minutes to get out of really, really, really severe rage. It took me about 45 minutes to get out of it, okay? A year ago, it took me 15 minutes, okay? Now it takes me five. And believe it or not, even five can feel like the end of the planet when you're on your high-flying disc. You don't want to stand there even for one second. Okay? So the thing is that Oh, hi, Muhammad. The thing is, okay. So the thing is that as we learn, as we learn to set the vibration, and as we learn that we actually have full control over our experiences and everything that actually happens to us whether we want it was something that we wanted or something that we didn't want okay once we understand that and we actually understand that the contrasts that are happening in our life okay are contrasts that, contrasts that we actually invite into our life for the purpose of our expansion okay from that moment on okay life look completely different 
they I have people you know talking to me in private conversations and 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 just completely overwhelmed okay by the by the the shift that they relate that their life to okay and like somebody told me you know before I started this process before I was starting even you know before I was starting working with you okay I was I was I was living to I was willing to leave this body I was willing to to to, to end it all out you know it, it just there was nothing for for me out there you know there was nothing that was that I was willing to hold on for okay you know reality was not something appealing at all okay and as and and as and and as people learn okay how to shift their reality how they learn actually that they have they have a say on their life okay in a very very uh, uh, creative and, and and very strong way okay and then actually no way around it okay once you learn it it's yours okay once you learn it no one can take it away from you okay it's it's like learning how to how to dance once you learn how to dance you can dance unless you're but yeah, unless you you unless you um, you damage your body and then unless you damage your vehicle unless something happened to your vehicle and you cannot dance anymore, but the ability is there. Okay, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Once you learn how to how to shift your vibration, once you learn how to how to set up the vibration, once you understand how synchronicities are going to unfold, once you learn how to expect those synchronicities. Okay, life is is a whole different game completely 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 it's it's something completely um, different it's a whole different experience okay and it doesn't matter if you have a lot of money you don't have a lot of money it doesn't matter if if you are in a relationship you're not in a relationship all the things that you want on all, all the things on your wish list okay all of a sudden okay uh, doesn't feel as, as as if it's wrong because you don't have them Okay, you understand that you're in a process of creation. Okay, you understand that actually that that since you're on a process of creation, you're actually excited about the unfolding, about about the things that are going to show in your experience. You're not in horror, you're not in fear, you're not in worries. Okay, you understand and since you, you set up the vibration, okay, the right person is going to show into your experience. The right job is going to come into your experience. The money that you need is going to be there. Okay, the clients you're looking for are going to be there. Okay, uh, the, you know, like like this this girl, okay, that I was giving her a, a reading um, with Abraham, a session with Abraham on Thursday. Okay, uh, she posted on the group. Okay, she posted her results in the group. Okay, she's a piano teacher, and and she she was telling me that she she's getting all those kids that actually she has to struggle with. Okay, and you know by the end of the session, I said it's. You know, the only thing you have to do is you have to invite the students that are looking for you, okay, to call you and work with you, okay? And and the day after, you know, one day after, okay, she was, uh, you know, she she got two phone calls from two students who told her that they just want to go and study the piano and they want to win competitions. And this is exactly the kind of students that she was looking for. And she didn't believe that something like this is, hap is, is, is possible, okay? And this is going to answer uh, Leslie's um, question about, a, about, about allowing, okay? Leslie had to leave us, okay? And it's that once you understand what your next step is, okay, and it's simple and clear to you, Okay, the allowing is part of it. Okay, because one of the reasons that we have resistance, one of the reasons that that we don't allow things, is because we don't understand what our next step is. We don't understand what we're supposed to do in order to manifest the things that we need. Okay, so this is part. This is part of allowing. Okay, this is part of it. The thing is that that process is teaching you is to trust the process. That once you trust the process, you trust uh, you you trust um, you know the things to come to you. Then you are in a much better and faster allowing uh, allowing uh, point. You know there is far less resistance once you are trusting the process itself. Okay. Now um, there is another part to it which is the segment intended okay and and we uh, we talked about a little about uh, the vibration setup 
you know, when I talk a lot, it sounds like there's a lot to it, but actually, no, 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 okay? Mm -mm -mm. It's 15 minutes in the morning. Segment intended doesn't have to take more than five minutes. You, you, you know, according to our, to our process, okay, you're supposed to pick, let's say, a few of them, okay, between three to five, you can, you can, we don't want to overload the process as we start, okay? So, so what you do, you just, um, you just uh, pick up like five different uh, segments during the day. Let's say you want to take a shower. Let's say you want to prepare yourself for breakfast. Let's say you want to go to the swimming pool. Let's say you want to hang out with friends. Let's say you just want to have coffee. Let's say you want to print to write your book. Let's say you want to go to work. Everything that you want to do. Let's say you're going to go into an appointment with someone. Okay. So what you do, you just set the vibration. You set the intention. Okay, if somebody don't understand the idea of, of vibration, you set an intention of how do you want that event to happen? How do you want this segment, this part of the day, okay, to manifest for you? Okay, so actually it's some kind of an event wish list. Okay, let's say you get up in the morning and you have to, let's say, let's say the shower is easy, okay? <laughs> even though I can tell you that sometimes, sometimes even shower can be funny because if if somebody else in the in the apartment or in the house is opening the the white or the cold water as you're taking a shower, okay, that can be kind of a of a, of experience, especially if you shampoo your hair or any kind of like this, you can find yourself jumping in and out into the water. So so and uh, you know or, or let's say you just. Uh, you know, you want to shampoo your hair. All, all of a sudden, you realize that you 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 don't you you're on the last drop in the bubble. Okay, so one of the things that that you know, all those kind of little things that can that can go as you go into the shower. You know, or you take a shower and then you you realize that you forgot the the the, the soap. Okay, in the sink. Okay, and all of a sudden you have to get out of the shower, go into the sink, drop all the way around. Okay, so. You know, all those little things that can happen in the shower. So you set the vibration that you're going to go into a shower, okay, and your shower is going to be just perfect. The water, the water are going to run smoothly. You know, everything is going to be wonderful. You're going to have the time of your life. The angels are going to talk to you, okay. They love, they love the shower for me, okay. You're going to be inspired for the rest of your day. You're going to have the best, best clarity and and uh, and best creativity in the shower, you know, and this is going to be a short shower, but it's going to feel like very, very long, and everything is just going to happen in a in a break of a second, okay? And and so it is, and so it is. Okay, once you set up the vibration for something like this, that's how it's going to happen. And you saw, I don't have to do too much in my head to do this, okay? And you can write it down on a piece of paper because at the, at the beginning you really want to start with, 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 with uh, you know, writing in a piece of paper because, you know, just for clarity, okay? And then let's say you can take another idea like, say, uh, preparing breakfast. Okay, preparing breakfast, you can set up the vibration to it, you can set up the intention to it, that everything that you, you would like to prepare is just going to be in the refrigerator. You're not going to find that something is rotten, you're not going to find that something is missing, you don't find, you're not going to find that, that uh, you know, that the mouse was eating it, and you don't want to find that your, your spouse or partner or, or, or roommate or somebody else just killed it, and you just don't know about it. Okay, so you... You know, so you just want to have the perfect breakfast and you want to feel great after having it. Okay, no, no, no heavy tummy. You know, it's all going to orchestrate and concentrate, you know, completely and absolutely wonderful. Okay, um, so this is, this is just simple, um, intentions. You can put another intention for, for, let's say, people wants to go into the heavy stuff, let's say, into a job interview. Okay, so you can prepare, you can set up the vibration for the job interview and, and, and actually as you see it, if you want that job, you just see it as you already have it, okay? And then you see that the entire, the entire interview is going to be, um, it's going to be the way that it's going to suit you, okay? Okay, some people would like to have the formality going completely right and some people want to have it more friendly and, and more, more personal. Okay, and, and, and that's how they want it to be. Okay, they want, you know, they can actually set up the intention, the vibration for, for any event that they, they wanted to have and just, uh, and, and at the moment you did it, just forget about it. 
forget about it. Once you put the intention, just forget about it. Because the moment you follow it, <laughs> you lost it. That's how simple it all is. Once you follow the intention, then, then when you lost it. Okay? Now, for those of you who are just wondering what happened to my audience, I can tell you that I, <laughs> I lost the screen for a second and I had to start it all over again. So uh, some just decided to move into YouTube. Okay? So we have them all somewhere else. Uh, it's all fine because they left uh, us with, uh, with their uh, questions. Okay. Um, now, as for the evening ritual, I don't want to uh, talk too much about this. The evening ritual is all, all very simple. I definitely advise you not to uh, wait until the last moment to go to sleep. Okay. Don't wait until you're going to crash because once you're going to crash, you can forget about it. Okay, it's like uh, it's like my computer. <laughs> I don't know how it happened, never happened before, but all of a sudden I got this click and black screen and that's it. Okay? Just like if you just did now, it just disappeared. <laughs> okay, he's going to be back, but that's what happened to my screen. Okay? So, um, you don't want to go to sleep when you're absolutely crushed. You want to, because once you crash, you actually lose control over your vibration. And you, I told you, it's going to work. Okay, so uh, that's what happened to my screen again. Okay, only we lost the link. That's what happened on the Hangouts. Once you cut it off, you lost, you're losing the link because it's a live link. So we had to do it again. Okay, so the thing is that once you go to uh, sleep, you know, like you prepare your baby, okay? You don't want to you don't want to deal with the with a cranky baby that that is already um, over overwhelmed by 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 fatigue, and then and then you have to um, you know it's not such a nice it's not su such a nice experience, okay? It's it's like you take your baby to go to sleep in the evening, okay? You prepare for them something to eat, you, you okay, or you know, or you take them to, and then take them to the shower, or shower and then going to eat, you change their clothes, you put the pyjama, and then you prepare them to go to sleep. The same thing you want to do for your own self, okay? You want to treat yourself as if you were your own baby, okay? Okay, and you don't want to wait until the last minute until, like, you just drop everything and you just, you know, <coughs> crash in bed, you know? Okay, now the evening ritual is, is, is uh, it's a bit more simple than that, okay? You, you actually have to notice, okay, a, a success story during the day that happened. Some, something that actually you could call the day, you know, um, as, as it was uh, a positive day for you. You just have to find one thing, okay? Mostly you can, f once you find one thing, it's going to unfold and you're going to find more and more and more things, okay? But um, that's the thing you have to do. And, and another thing is you want to go to sleep in the vortex. It's really important to go to sleep in the vortex. And again, you're going to lose this this momentum if you're going to crash on bed. If you crash in front of, of, of the television, this is not the 30-day uh, process because in the 30 days process, one of the things that we want to do, we want to shut ourselves from the outside reality and shutting ourselves from the outside reality is very much also from the television, okay? So so the television should, should, should be definitely turned off, okay, for those 30 days. Okay, you're supposed to shut off the, the television for the 30 days. You're not supposed to watch television for, for the 30 days. Okay, I, you know, my family is, um, you can think that I'm crazy, okay, but my family lives in Israel, okay, and now they have, they have, they have siren all over the country, they have bombs all over the country. Today was my mother's birthday. I was calling her to say, hi mom, happy birthday. I was a little, <laughs> it was a little, you know, night over there, and she said, oh, you jumped me off. I said, Mom, why do you jump me off? She said, do you know what's going on in here? I said, we're not talking about it. It's all good. It's your birthday. Okay, just focus on your birthday. That's the good thing that happened. That's your birthday. That's the most important thing, okay? So, you know, you can say that, uh, that, uh, that I'm, a, I'm a big hero once I'm not over there, but I have been over there for the most of my life, okay? So I definitely understand that, and, and, and thing is that my family and me, we just decided that we're not going to, we're going to shut it out. 
Okay. So if you can if you, if you can shut out a missile dropping off <laughs> all over the country, you can definitely shut down the television. Okay? Because I can tell you what the television is going to do, okay? And I know that very, very well. They are going to chase the missiles missiles. They are just going to chase it, okay? They're going to put they're going to put their crews, okay, in, in a strategic point, okay, that they can see exactly all missile dropping all over. And all of them have to say, oh here that's one, oh here that's one. Okay. And if, if by any chance this missile was, was touching the wall of some kind of a house or, or God forbid made, made a hole or God forbid somebody somebody got hurt, it, they are going to make such a drama, okay, that the next thing that's gonna happen, okay, that because of so many dramas, okay, you're going to attract a missile to your own home. We don't want that. We want those missiles to drop somewhere else, okay? If somebody else wants to attract them, let them have them. We don't want them. Okay, so that's that's how that's how far and deep those realities and how crazy those things can happen. Okay, if you if you can shut yourself away from those uh, from those news, okay, you can definitely create a reality that is going to keep you okay on on the on the much positive side of reality. Okay, because just think about it, even though there are going to be 50 missiles dropping all over the country all at once, okay, it's only 50 points, all other points are empty. So where would you like to be? Under that hot spot or would you like to be in this open space area? I want to be in the open space area. So I rather I rather <laughs> let this energy go somewhere else. <laughs> okay? So and as as we're going to slip into the vortex, okay, there are different ways of doing it. You can go into meditation and, and close the day. Um, and you can put the, uh, the the 15 minutes meditation according to Abraham Hicks. You can download it from from the website. You can find some of them on YouTube. Okay. Then I remember that it was very easy for me to um, to fall asleep. And the thing is that the way you set up the vibration, okay, before you go to sleep, this is how your your dreams are going to be interpreted interpreted in, in, in your in your in your in your mind as you go to sleep because your dreams are just interpretations of your of your vibration as you go to sleep. So if you go to sleep worry, okay, your dreams are going to reflect that vibration. Okay? Now if you and 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 how it's how it's going to, to and this is how it's going to be translated also as you wake up. Okay, because the state of waking up is, is very much important to the way that you actually translate your dreams as well. Okay, so if you go to sleep in the vortex, okay, you, you actually offer a, a, a very positive um, a vibration set point. Okay, and if you wake up in, in, in the vortex, okay, start running like that, okay, you get in, into that vibration, your interpretation of your dream, okay, Oh, congratulations! Dear said that tomorrow is his birthday. Okay, so if you are, if you get wake up in the morning, you know, in the vortex, it's uh, you know that the interpretation of the dream is going to be very, uh, very supportive. It's going to be very, very easy. And if you think that I'm hallucinating, try it. If you think that what I'm saying is just, um, it, it's, it's just uh, um, a wish. Okay, no, it's not. Okay, you. We all go to sleep. We all get up in the morning. So this is not something uh, no one can try. Okay, this is not something that that nobody can actually uh, give it a chance, so to say, because there's no try. Okay, so once you once you once you go for it, once you decide to give it a chance, okay, and and you you are you actually practicing it, and you are going to practice it, you know, time after time after time after time, 
actually you're going to see that it actually happened. I don't remember horror, horror um, dreams. I don't remember this guy. I don't remember things like that at all. Okay. So another thing that I would like to emphasize that once you once you get yourself into this process, it's a very very important to take care of the body. It's very important to go with detox of the body. It's very important to to take this a thirty day process and actually recruit it. Okay, to other areas of your life. Okay, you can take the thirty day process and decide that you want to to. Um, to use it for for losing weight, you can decide to use it for for starting a new habit. You can uh, you can decide to use it for for uh, for changing your diet. You can decide to use it for for studying something new. You can decide you can decide to recruit this 30 day like like um, like a, a whole new beginning, a whole new start of of of, of a new experience in your life. Okay. Now, the reason that we are not mounting more and more and more uh, in information of it is because we want to keep it simple. Okay. Because if it's you're, we are not going to keep it simple, you know, for people who just start, everything is going to be so overwhelming, and and eventually they're going to do nothing. Okay. So we want to keep it really, really simple. You know, I made a video which is only like four and a half minutes, seven and a half minutes, and you can find it on YouTube on my channel. And actually, I explain. The entire the entire process in just seven and a half minutes, okay, even less than just seven minutes. The entire process, and you can you can see it. There's no there's no much like maybe like twenty twenty to one slides all together, including hello and bye. Okay, so um, it's it's all very simple. Now people were asking me uh, a few questions, and one of them was of you, you just said. It, and it was like which one of the 22 processes, okay, on the book uh, asking it is giving Abraham are giving 22 processes, and your question was uh, which one is the one that is uh, is is working the best uh, for this process, and the question is the answer is that um, there are two, if if there was one which is the best, okay, they would just give one process. Okay, there wouldn't be 22. Okay, the reason that there are 22 is because um, we all have different set points of vibration, even as we go into the process. Okay, and we're all processing information differently. Okay, so some of those processes are more visual, some are more physical, some are more uh, like even in a dream state. Uh, uh, all of those, uh, all of those processes, uh, okay, are are actually very simple, and and uh, and also what Abraham is recommending, and uh, and I have it here so you can see it, okay, in front of every process, okay, it's on part two of the book, you know, they are telling you, okay, they are telling you, uh, um, the level of uh, you know of where you where it. You're supposed to be on the um, on the emotional scale, okay? And they're going to say, okay. Let's say, um, give you an example, okay? Um, the process number here it is. Process um, number one here. Oh, here. Okay, here, and they say when to use this process. So actually, they are telling you, they are telling you when to use the process. Okay, and then you know current emotional emotional set point range. Okay, so every every process they are going to tell you. Okay, in 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 what um, what vibration? Okay, uh, is good to try it. Okay, because if you are going if you are going to uh, going to be on a high vibration. Okay, so they are going to go to tell you to go into the creation box. Okay, why they go into the creation box? Because then your mind is completely free. Okay, to free to go into the things that you would like to have. You're not going to think about the, to think about the things that you want to have when you are in survival. Okay, when you're in, yeah, 
Okay, so uh, when you're in survival, you would like to go into the into the book of positive aspects. Okay, you would like to see the book because because in survival you have to be able to be to, to see things. Okay, uh, that are that are open for you. Okay, you're not going to go in a creation box because who wants to who wants to think about uh, a new uh, earrings? Okay, when they actually uh, uh, have nothing to eat, they just think about eating. Okay, people are not going to think about uh, having a new rug or a new a new car or or something like that when they are very low on the on the emotional scale. They they want just they're just not going to be there. Okay, let's say the dream state also, it's a very, very high level of, of energy, okay, to go into the into the dream state process. Okay. You won't be able to do that. In order to go into the dream state process you have to um, you have to um, to be in a in a very good position as for uh, your night process. Um, Okay, another question here, how can we be sure uh, which level we are at, uh, or should we start with the lowest on the, on the way up? No, if you don't know, how, where, how do you feel? You just ask yourself, how do I feel? You just, you really, really, just ask yourself the question, uh, how do I feel right now? Okay, how do I feel right now? Okay, and sometimes, and I can tell you another thing that even I find myself uh, many times disappointed, let's say so, okay, disappointed, or sometimes I feel guilty, or sometimes I feel like and negative feelings, you know, but what I realize is that even though I feel disappointed and I feel, uh, I feel guilty, or I feel, you know, what do you mean? Feel guilty? If I can feel guilty because I didn't, I didn't listen to my angels uh, telling me to restart my computer, and my computer shut off in the middle of my life event. Okay, I can feel completely silly and stupid and, and, and guilty for for doing something like this. I can feel completely irresponsible. I can definitely beat myself down to, de to death about something like that. Okay, but I can definitely understand that that those emotions, okay, are not crashing me down into survival level, okay, they just, you know, get me into a position that I'm like, you know, wobbling for a few minutes or something like that, okay, so, or let's say I'm just like not on my high flying disc, but I'm still on a high disc, okay, so what I'm saying is that even, even the, the lower uh, or the lower uh, the emotions on the on the lower part of the, uh, the emotional scale actually um, can 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 be on a higher vibration, okay, uh, comparing to to the to uh, the vibrations that that you normally have. Okay, so instead of being disappointed and and just cry all day long, you're you're saying okay. I really didn't want it to happen this way. Okay. And then you send yourself, okay, next. Okay? So if you want to if you want to check your if you want to check your uh, your emotions according to the emotional scale, you can just go into the chart of the emotional scale and 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 actually read them. There are like 22 different uh, different uh, uh, emotions, and you can look yourself. I, am I angry? I can be <laughs> okay. And you can ask yourself, I'm, and, uh, am I in rage? Obviously, I'm not. Okay. Am I desperate? No. And you know, and then you know, and then you can get yourself up. You know, and then you can go into the upper ones, which am I hopeful? Yes. Okay. Am I joyful? Most of the time. Okay. So you can see how, how you actually resonate with those emotions. Okay. There, there is a lot of. Um, there is a lot of how to say self studying okay that you can do uh, with that process you can actually do a lot of uh, of uh, self observation with this uh, with this study with this process if you 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 would like to mute yourself you're not on mute yeah
Okay, um, ah, he was typing the question. <laughs> That's what we heard that he was working so hard. Sometimes I feel that something is going to happen bad with me, but actually not happen. Well, this has to do, this is how this has to do with our experiences and history. Okay, sometimes we're just conjuring, uh, conjuring um, events from from the past, and sometimes, uh, you know, sometimes just a vibration of 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 some kind of a memory. Okay, is is taking over. Okay, and believe it or not, those vibrations can come completely from from outside. It can come from. Uh, uh, <laughs> you already decided that you're phobic. Okay, so it can come from watching movies. It can it can watch come all kind of, from reading books or listening to other people's stories. Okay, if you're listening, if you're going through the internet and and you 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 can find such a horrible things over there, you know. And I don't I don't want to go too far with this, but I can tell you that. <coughs> One day, I, you know, I, I definitely took my computer to maintenance after that. Okay, but uh, one day, I, I, I was, I was going into, I was opening a link, and and there was a video over there that just, just, just blew my mind. And and there was no way that I could. It, it was just, it was opening its own self. Okay, and. Uh, so the 30 day process is is very much for you because it's going to ask you to shut down the television okay try don't go to the movies okay and if you go to a movie go to a comedy or something like this or something funny or something good you have to choose you have to choose really 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 carefully what it is that you are giving your attention to and this is the 30 day process uh, very much um, uh, uh, targeted to you know, directed to that you're going to be able to um, to understand that you are choosing. You have the capacity to choose the thing that you give your attention to. Okay, because from your your question, I definitely understand that you know you, that you are witnessing and and you are experiencing through through uh, through observation. Okay, uh, things that ha actually has nothing to do with you. Okay, and once you do that, okay, and you process it in your in your mind. At the moment you're going to process it in your mind, you actually activate the law of attraction to bring it to your experience. And who wants that? You know. So, so, and I can tell you that many times when my friends are starting to talk to me about all kind of problem and 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 things, and Abraham are talking about it constantly, they say, change the subject. You know. I have a friend. I have a friend that every time I'm talking to her, she's telling me all kind of things that have been on the news that she found on the internet. And I said to her, "Where do you get those stories?" You know? And she said, "Well, you didn't see this here. You didn't see that there." And I said, "No, I don't go there. I don't watch it." And then, and you know, and and I said to her, "You know, just don't tell me that." And sometimes she's getting into all kind of graphic details, and I say, "Are you sure?" You know, because I'm so creative. At the moment, somebody tells me something, okay, my my creative mind is going to 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 get into the details of it. You know, and I can tell you another thing because that's how our brain works. Okay, when my daughter was little, okay, and somebody was on the phone. Let's say I was I was I was I was doing something in private, you know, going to you know you know excusing myself, okay, and and somebody was calling on the phone. I said to her, "Don't tell them what am I doing. I don't need their Im imagination to follow me. I need some privacy." And she learned, and she said, "Mommy is busy at the moment. Mommy cannot get into the phone right now. Do you want me to leave her a message? Do you want me to tell her that she's going to call you back?" And, and you know, and that's how it happened. And until now, and she got it very quickly. She got it very easy, you know. 
I said, you don't tell to people over the phone what mommy is doing. Because I don't need their, their, their imagination to follow me into my private affairs. Okay? So, um, yeah, and another thing is that our imagination, okay, is, is completely, you know, borderless. Okay, we can imagine things that are, you know, in a way that we actually, that they have not, no, no connection to, the, to reality and we actually use to magnify them many times. Okay, and especially if you, if you said that you have some, uh, you know, if you, if you attend to get into phobias, of course you are going to pump them up. Okay, it's like you have this air filter you know, machine in your, in, your, in your mind, in your imagination, and every time they're talking to you about, you know, something, it's like a little balloon, and then you pump, 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 and then it's like all of, all of a sudden, you cannot see through. Why? Because this balloon is bigger than your vision. Okay, so, okay, it means... <sighs> Of course, via is writing me. It means I should see or hear something that have some humor or something make me feel good. Of course, I can tell you something. You know, everything that I buy, okay, sometimes people don't understand what I'm doing, okay, but everything that I buy, everything from the little detail from that mouse, okay, okay, everything that I buy, I buy because it's supposed to lift up my spirit, everything. From the shirt that I'm wearing, from the earrings, from everything that I do is supposed to make me laugh. You know, sometimes I buy things and people say, why are you buying this? I said, because it's amusing, because it makes me smile. Okay, if it doesn't make me smile, if it doesn't make me feel good, I don't want, it, I don't want anything to do with it. Nothing. And if you're, you know, if you're looking, you know, my, my eyeglasses here, okay, they're kind of funny. You know, and, and, and the thing about it sometimes is that once you have something which is a little amusing, okay, people cannot take you that serious. It has sometimes cons, you know, prawns and, and, you know, and false to it, okay, but it's, 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 it's not going to take very long for people to realize that actually, you, even though you have those, uh, you know, uh, funny uh, frames, okay, you, you know what you're saying. You definitely mean what you say because it's the vibration, okay. So I definitely, I definitely choose to choose, and this is something you would like to do as well. You would like to choose to choose, okay? And this is really important. And the 30-day process is, is definitely teaching you to choose to choose, okay? Because you have to choose things. Because if you, if you cannot, if, if for 30 days you, you decide to avoid the television, all of a sudden you have this big, huge uh, space, okay? And now you have to fill it up. So if, if now you have to learn how to choose to choose, okay, all of a sudden, everything that you do, you, you just don't take it for granted. You just, you just measure it. Does it work for, you, for me or it's not working for me? Does it make me feel good to do this or it doesn't make me feel good to do this? And I, you know, when it comes to movies, I definitely think, you know, a lot of people are watching all those crazy action movies before they go to sleep. And I like say, oh my God, what are you doing? Just shoot yourself in the head and that's it. You know? And you can find, you can find, you can, if, if you look at those movie, movies, the things that can happen to them, sometimes you just have to, you know, even, even I, I buy those comedies, you know, or, you know, and I want to watch them. And if I see on the promise, they're going to show me all kind of other movies, you know, with, 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 levels of, 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 I don't know, atrocities, you know, sometimes that, that I say to myself, who are, who, who's the person who even willing to, 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 to be part of the creation of that? What kind of life those people have? You know? What kind of experience do they, do they uh, uh, invite into their life as they are, uh, bringing, you know, making themselves part of, of, of the creation of, of such concepts. 
And if you think about it, you know, how many, how many of them you can hear about them, you know, getting their stuff messed up in, in things that you really don't want to. Okay? So, I used to see hun hundre hunted for action movie, but from now not. It was my choice. So from now, oh my, my goodness, you're just, uh, you know, so I was definitely talking to you. Definitely talking to you, you know. Yeah. Hunted and action movies. This is exactly the movie that I'm talking to. When it comes to haunted movie, how how can you go to sleep after you you are watching a haunted movie? Okay, you're going to expect something to crawl from the corner of the room, okay, or somebody to. It's the X Files. Come on, man. You know this is what you want to feed your brain. I can tell you that the people that I'm working with this, learn to choose to choose how you know to to choose and, and now they don't have to choose anymore because the thing is that it, once you make it a habit okay the habit is, habit is going to run its, itself you know and you don't have to do the work anymore the thing is that once you you learn how to select your reality okay it's going to become a habit and the things that you are not you're not interested with are just not going to show up you're just not going to notice them I can be very, very, very selective with the way that I'm looking at things or looking at people. People who were working with me were completely surprised that they can stand in front of me and I wouldn't see them. Really? Why? Because I'm, they are not in my, in my awareness at that moment at all. I'm like completely somewhere else. I'm not going to see them. So the same thing with everything else in your life. If you if you learn how to focus your attention, okay, it's like magnet. Your attention is like a magnet, okay. If your attention is going into stuff which is healthy for you, okay, your attention is going to work like a magnet and it's going to draw those healthy things to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you 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 have to be aware of it, you know. You just have to be aware of it. Listen, there's no uh I would there wouldn't be like wrong choice and, and right choice. There's going to be a choice that is going to work for you and and choice that is not going to work for you. There's no wrong choices. Okay, and another thing, if you didn't have this experience, okay, you wouldn't be able to appreciate the differences. Okay, so it's really, and it, it's like I was working, I was working with real estate for for quite some years, and and uh, on, on on my work, and 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 I have learned on, on on the hard way that people have to see things that they don't like to understand what it is that they do like. Okay, because because I was the agent, I knew to select the best properties, and I used to show them the best properties in the market and um, and 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 many times I just lost the customers why because because uh, I didn't show them I didn't they didn't go a full circle around okay they had to have the um, they have to have the experience of the things that they don't want okay so they had to choose okay you have to give them a few choices that they're not going to like and then they're going to pick the one that they like okay so it's really important. It's really important to uh, to to um. It's like even in dating. Okay, you you are going to date people that you don't that you know that you're not going to want to get into a relationship. Okay, and most of them are going to be those. Okay, and 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 those actually experiences are going to uh to teach you what it is that you want. Okay. And it has to do with other more intimate experiences that that people are jumping from here to there, from here to there, from here to there, from here to there, just to find something that they actually like. Okay. But this is because they didn't set up their vibration because they they didn't have they didn't they didn't learn how to choose. They don't know what they want, so they are choosing by default. They said, okay, let me try again. Let me try again. Let me try again. Let me try this. Let me try this. Let me try this. Blah, blah, blah. 
It's like somebody who's who's going on an open buffet, okay, and want to try from all dishes, okay. By the try, time you try from all dishes, your belly is just bloated and you have all that mess around, okay, because each one of them is a vibration, each one of them is an energy, okay. So the thing is that you have to have some kind of a some kind of a, of a of an idea what it is that you're looking for, what it is that makes you happy, and you don't have to try them too much, you know. You know, you don't have to to jump with people all the way, you know, uh, to the to the most deepest, uh, you know, uh, uh, relationship. Okay, to know that those people actually are not going to be good for you. Yeah. You know? And even you decide to, to watch a movie, if you see that the beginning is it's not it's not nice, just take it off. You know, I can get out of a movie and move out. It's not because I paid a ticket. I'm going to stay there for 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 two hours. I'm going to choose another one. Okay. Nobody is going to destroy my evening. Yeah. Okay. I think I was talking my head off. So um, if you have uh, if you have any more questions about this process, actually this process just supposed to. Uh, to help you to do that kind of shift and actually show you that you have a say on your reality that if you are going to if you are going to make those choices on a daily basis okay on a moment to moment kind of basis okay reality is going to respond to you there is no way around it there is no way around it And it and as better it gets, the better it gets. As, as you know, as, as as more you practice it, the better it gets for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's 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 very important to understand that even though that you even though you are you are celebrating. Only your 18th birthday tomorrow, okay? And the congratulations to you. Even only 18, okay? Um, you know, it's 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 early enough to understand that that um, the choice is yours. And I know people who started and practiced the, those process, you know, uh, since they are 15, okay? Oh, so that's a paradigm shift. Oh, we can have a whole session about paradigm shifts. You know, what is a paradigm shift? <laughs> yeah, we can have a whole session about this. Yeah. The most important thing is, the most important thing is, is and I find it more and more, uh, Critical as I am, as I'm moving on, is uh, and um, and you know, it's to keep the mind flexible. Okay, keep the you know, keep the mind flexible. It is so 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 important. Okay, to keep the brain flexible. Okay, to keep the mind flexible because it's 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 like it's like it's like that rubber. Okay, you really want to keep it flexible. Okay, at the moment it lost its flexibility, it's no longer functioning. It's no good for you anymore. So the same with the brain. If it's not flexible, it's like a muscle. Okay, if it's not a flexible, if you cannot move it, you cannot it you know you it's not gonna it's not gonna work for you. It works, but not in the way that you like it. Okay, so you really, really, really want to keep your your brain flexible, and this is another uh, skill that they don't um, they don't um, actually teach us. Okay, actually, what they do they they are teaching us to fix our brain. Okay, if you look everywhere, you see that everybody is trying to fix our brain. Okay, you fix not only by by making you know by Alter, you know, by fixing it as if it was broken, but also to fix it like, you know, you know, into one state, okay, that it's not going to move that much, you know, like stable it in in one position. And this is, to my opinion, completely and absolutely, 
um, you know, um, detrimental to our brain. Our brain's supposed to be fluid. It's supposed to be. It's, it's supposed to be liquid. It's supposed to be able to 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 be like a rubber. It's supposed to be completely uh, flexible. Okay, because um, we cannot make any shifts. Okay, if we are so so um, um, fixed in our brain, if we're so um, um, rigid. We have to we have to really uh, release it, okay? I know that there's so much going on right now all over the place. So so people say, oh, if I'm going to be so flexible in my mind, I'm going to get myself in the wrong place. But it's not really it's there's not much of a danger to it if we are aligned, okay? If we are one with ourselves and we are aligned with the source within us and and we're doing that work and we actually are listening to ourselves and to our intuition because at the moment we, we get on top, top of something that doesn't feel good to us okay okay our emotional guidance system is going to tell us to move to shift away from that okay so it's really really important so the 30 day process is is really a very uh, basic and element and elementary uh, uh, kind of um, of start, and I definitely recommend it to to everyone who uh, who's on their or, or on their first step. And there is another thing, just for clothing, that I would like to to share. When I was on my psychic school uh, on our third year, okay, and just think it was very intensive. You know, we were working daily, okay, not not like once a month and not corresponding. We were physically there. Okay, and we were physically working, and we were daily working, and we were working. We were waiting for our sessions, which were like over three hours long. Okay, like with our breath taking, you know, we were just waiting for the next session, and um, and I remember that we had retreats and seminars that we had extra on on to our school. We have a lot of events, okay, on holidays and 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 weekends. We have we have a lot of experiments. And and I remember that you know that all the time you know the students were looking for something new, okay, and and one day <laughs> our teacher said that she's going to teach us a whole new exercise and everybody were extremely 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 excited, okay. And when we got into class and we were sitting, okay, in the event, okay, she was surprising us all. She gave us the basic basic first exercise that she was teaching us. The basic, 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 basic. It's like teaching somebody how to read and write. When they want to write a novel. Okay, so she shows us, okay, that's how you print the letters. <laughs> and 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 people were like, what? And she said, but that's all it is. That's all to it. That's the only thing you have to know. You have to know the basic. Everything else is application. So the 30 days the 30 days is the basic, okay, that everything beyond this is just an application. And this is the reason that I am I'm focusing myself on teaching it, because this is the basic stuff that is going to, to follow you to the rest of your life, okay? Because what, you know, and, and that ritual actually is not for 30 days, it's actually for life. The 30 days is just a jump step. It's just the first, it's just the starter. It's just to, to teach you how to do this. It's like you're learning reading and writing. So once you learn reading and writing, now you don't use it. <laughs> you use it all your life. Okay? So the 30 day process is teaching you something that you can actually use for the rest, rest of your life. You know, like somebody taught you how to read and write. Of course. There is there is a way to write it, but everybody has their own unique handwriting. Everybody has their, their own unique print. Okay, so the same thing with the thirty days. Every one of you, okay, every one of us, eventually is going to have its own unique uh, finger finger uh, print or or handwriting. Okay, that is going to be unique to them on that process. But 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 the template. This is the template. This is how simple it is. Okay, so, yeah.
and believe it or not, I, I, I made one of my one of my uh, one one of my um, uh, ringtones. It's a life is good, <laughs> life is good. And you know where I put it? I put it on the most challenging relationship. On the most challenging relationship, I put a, I put a ringtone which say life is good, life is good, because I am setting the vibration of me approaching that challenging phone call. <laughs> you see? Okay, so um, I'm going to close it here. I want to thank you all for watching this. If you were able to get to the end of it, you must be... Uh, very brave because most people are just going to skip it on the first 10 minutes because they are they are definitely <laughs> expecting Disney World or <laughs> some kind of a movie with an action okay so the only action we had and we had plenty of it is, is my uh, screen being shutting in the middle of my speech okay and and uh, some of our audience just move into YouTube okay so Thank you for being here with us. And if you want to learn more about this process, just join our group on Facebook and our um, Google Plus community. It's Abraham Hicks, How to Change Your Life in 30 Days. Okay, 2 is letter 2, 30 is the letter 30. And, and I take advantage of telling you that I'm giving um, uh, personal sessions with Abraham. They're extremely, extremely cute and nice and high vibration. They're very they're adorable. And uh, also energy reading and personal coaching. And I can tell you that everybody that I'm working with, just everybody, is, is com constantly repeating, uh, reporting their, their results. And, and I cannot just stop smiling about it. Okay, so thank you for being here with us. And I'll see you next time. Okay, if you say minimum, thanks, and Josette say thanks, next session, paradigm shift. Yeah, we're also going to talk about why opera doesn't lose weight. <laughs> okay, thank you for being here with us. Thank you again, and we'll see you on Facebook. Bye-bye.